Thank you, Steve. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now. And Richard, we have another record close for the NASDAQ. It's a record by the chinny chin chin, but a record nonetheless. The NASDAQ did move higher today, closed at a record yesterday, so we have a record today. And the important news, the NASDAQ has now been up for 10 consecutive business days. That's the longest string we've seen since 2015, two and a half years ago. The Dow, oh yeah, there is a Dow Jones Industrial Average, had an 85-point range for the day. But as you'll see, the closing numbers were not a big deal. Let's take a look at the final numbers. There you see a loss of 29 points, just 13 one hundredths of 1 percent, closing at 21,611.78, that on volume of 644 million shares. There's the NASDAQ record up five whopping points, not even one-tenth of 1 percent, closing exactly 63.90, that on volume of 1,819,000,000 shares. And the S&P hardly moved, two one-hundredths of 1 percent, closing at 2,473. Point four five. Well, if you can't beat them, you may as well join them. I guess that's the thought process that went into Sears as the company. Believe it or not, you can't make this up. Sears said today it's going to start selling its Kenmore appliances through, you guessed it, Amazon.com. Amazon, of course, is the 800-pound gorilla retail, and one of the reasons that companies like Sears have been struggling, so Sears said, well, you know what, maybe we can sell more product if we offer it through Amazon. And guess what, its shares were up 20% intraday, up 10% at the close. So a lot of people think that will work out, although I have to ask the obvious question. Now people have yet one more reason not to have to go shopping inside a Sears store. So that's my take on the whole thing. Can't beat them, join them, I guess. Right. Exactly. You also have news on uh, two of my favorite places, Lowe's, Home Depot. And guess what? Directly involved with what Sears announced today, a lot of people believe that they will both be hurt by the fact that Amazon is going to be in the business with Kenmore. And as a result of that, uh, they were down 5% and 4% respectively. Not a good day. Yeah, both those chains uh, sell a lot of appliances right. too. Right, certainly do. All right, Richard, thank you so much. You're welcome.